We're Eamon and Beck, and we live in our van to travel the world. But full-time travel isn't always a pumpkin spice latte. In fact, we often make mistakes, sometimes big mistakes. 250 euros. And find ourselves in uncomfortable situations. This week was no different. I'm backing out, I think. I don't know. Good morning, everybody. This is a rare occasion where Eamon and I are up for sunrise and it is beautiful. Magnificent. Up with the horsies this morning. Hola, horsey. Listo? I'm ready. Woo! Woo -hoo. <laughs> and you? Vámonos, chico. Hola! <laughs> Buenos dias, Virginia! Why all the helmets? Are we going somewhere crazy today? Somewhere so crazy! <laughs> no. See. It's good! It's good crazy! I'm afraid. I have to recognize I'm afraid. Okay, no pasa. But let's do it! Woo! Very problem. small. Uh, we need a one wow. harness more. There was a little communication difference yeah. between Ricard and Mark. Hello. This is Mark, everybody. He's going to be in charge of all of our safety. They think they are safe with me, but it is not. You, I look. You look like I trust you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you? Yeah. Okay. We need to go buy one more harness. Uh, yeah. Uh, nobody matter. wants to go over the bridge with no harness. <laughs> oh. I'm only a ghost. <laughs> Listo? Listo. Mandarin? Yes, okay. thank you. No problem. You don't know what we're doing? Well, <clears throat> I thought we were hiking. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I was just surprised by all the helmets and the, <laughs> the harnesses and the, the carabines and everything. And the, yeah, it's just uh, seems like a different level than I was expecting. I was expecting a nice little weekend walk. We have nuts, we have peanut butter sandwiches, we have mandarin oranges, and agua. Is enough? Number one concern. <laughs> Always. Okay. <laughs> this is a little more exciting than we thought. Listo! <laughs> Where's your trike? My trike? Yeah, your trike. Is that a Canadian thing? I don't know what that means. It's a small bike for a child. <laughs> Mark has given us a very brief, and I mean brief, uh, Spanglish explanation of, of what we're doing here. Are you, how are you feeling? It wasn't that brief, it was very thorough. You just only listened to I'm trying to hype it up for the video here, Beth. <laughs> no, I'm actually quite nervous, but really excited. It looks like, yeah, you can see behind us some climbers that we've let go ahead there, so we can have a little sneak peek, but yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I still can't get over the fact that we're not hiking. <laughs> <laughs> hike is like a, a walk. walk. <laughs> he even told you that we were going to. Well, he didn't say much. He just said we're going here, and then he sent me a Google link to where to be. <laughs> That's how Amen like, yeah. wrote. And then I said, I hope you're not scared of heights. <laughs> so I forgot to mention that Dr. Leo here also has a YouTube channel, which we'll definitely link below. You guys should check it out if you need a little bit of inspo in the gym or in the kitchen 
or you just want to look at a sexy, gorgeous looking human. Oh man, stop, you're making me blush. <laughs> he looks better without the helmet. Come on, go in. Come on. more than I bargained for this morning. <laughs> I feel so alive. Holy, you can't see the end. I know. Oh my god. Ricardo is so scared. He's just a Ricardo, is it okay? <laughs> oh, he's scared. He's scared. <laughs> I'm backing out, I think. I don't know. I'm nervous. Mark's got your back. Yeah. And I've got Mark's back. But if I fall, <laughs> and I got Amy's back. <laughs> Alright, this. Back it's easy. Okay, thank you, Leo. I needed it. See you on the other side. See ya. See ya. Just, <laughs> I can't even speak. To be totally honest, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> but I feel like it's so important to face your fears and seek discomfort. And this is definitely me doing that. And I hope it can encourage you to do that in a small way. You don't have to cross a crazy bridge, but in a small way, today, tomorrow. I'm proud of you, baby. I'm proud of you for even being here. <laughs> Adios. See you on the other side. She made it. Adios. Good luck. Come on. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> un paso izquierdo, un paso derecho. <laughs> <laughs> one step to the left. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, come on. What's the other one? But this actual area is Baumas Curcadas. Baumas Curcadas. Baumas Curcadas. La Via Ferreta de Baumas Curcadas. And it's totally free to do. Yeah. Um, but you oh, just you gotta find to... Mark to get the equipment and. Uh, Are we gonna link Mark or Mark, Mark doesn't, doesn't want to really link? Business, okay, okay, he's okay. Just okay. Amigo. For snack slash lunch slash breakfast because we haven't had any of those proper meals, we're having mandarin oranges, some walnut cocktail mix, my famous peanut butter sandwiches extra thick extra peanut butter <laughs> and yeah I guess that's what I'm updating hopefully we're drinking some agua what's this oh pistachios lots of proteins lots of fats how's that doc nice healthy lunch <laughs> perfectly balanced <laughs> <laughs> And that's gonna wrap up the amazing hike. Big thanks to my new friend, Mark. You're welcome. You're an absolute beauty. Babe, how do you think it went? It was amazing. I'm so, I kept saying to Eamon, since the bridge, I'm so glad I conquered my fear of the bridge. Super proud of you. The amigos uh, are learning how to fly the drone. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, oh you're glad you came? I'm so happy. Like this has been a total adventure, man. Thank you so much for inviting me. Even I'm glad though you came. I had no idea what I was coming to, <laughs> even though I thought it was just a harmless hike. Hike. Hey, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. We're walking on top of the clouds right now. Life is good. Life, Life is, is good. My perfect good. day. After an amazing week adjusting back to van life, 
parked outside our friend's place, it was time to journey south along the east coast to Tarifa. Been driving for a couple of hours and we've been pulled over by the police. I think it's just like inevitable with our license plate and everything. So um, we're currently, I think, in trouble because we don't have an international driver's license. Lesson learned, hopefully. All that happens. These cops were not in the mood to negotiate and escorted us to an abandoned gas station where we had to pay on the spot. 250 euros. It's a 50% uh, reduction. It was 500 euros, so I don't know. It's absolutely insanity. Um, like I think Beck maybe had mentioned, we've been pulled over multiple times and it's not an issue if you get cop that wants to make it an issue he's gonna make it an issue so it is our fault but I'm not even sure we can get one out of country so we'll just continue traveling we're just making our way through uh, we're heading down to Morocco can I see your well they're just checking everything because uh, of our license plate again for some reason I don't know what's going on I feel like you feel like we're doing something wrong, but it's a weekend, so the Canadian consulate wasn't open anyways. So we just tell them we're on our way to the Canadian consulate. Yeah. Here are the papers for the fine we've already paid for not having it, yeah. and we're gonna go get one. Oh my God, Amen. Yeah, Amen. I don't even want to admit this. Tell them what you just found. <laughs> I'm gonna sound so stupid. But you I just found my international driver. I knew I had it, but I didn't know I had it. Had it. Cause I thought I did it before South Africa, but I wasn't sure. And I tried, we looked, we spent like 10 minutes to 20 minutes looking at my emails, trying to find it. Yeah. And I just found it in this stack of papers. Oh my gosh. So yesterday we had a 250 euro fine for not having it. I owe you 250 euros. I do think it's expire? expired. Do they expire? Yeah. It expires after a year. Oh, they do. I'm pretty sure. Oh my. <laughs> Permiso Internacional. Sí. Cabucado. Expired. Cabucado. Sí. sí. Pardon. Uh, one year. Okay. Si, if, if I give you a traffic ticket, you have to pay now. My friend. So you are... My friend, can I... Um, ayer, ayer, un policía. Vamos a Malaga, Malaga, to um, Canadian consulate for... Nuevo. For Nuevo. So we are going ahora. There. Man, this is brutal. Eh, podéis ir. Yo no denuncio, yo no pongo multa, yo no pongo. Ah. Pero te pueden parar otro policía y sí que ponerte. Sí, sí. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Lo siento. Okay, gracias. Okay, gracias. Okay, so you and I are gonna go to Malaga tomorrow. Okay. And we're gonna go to the Canadian consulate and see if there's anything because we now that I know we have this I mm -hmm. think that really is helpful. Mm -hmm. It's just an extension as opposed to a thing All right, just leaving the embassy and they kind of confirmed what I probably should have kind of already knew You need to be in Canada to get this so maybe I can call CAA and get them to issue my dad or a friend one of these and then he could send it to us well, at least I tried. Hola, amor. And? No bueno. Perdón, amor. Uh, I had kind of high hopes for some reason. I don't know why. So there's nothing you can do? No, and I met another couple that was just robbed. Yeah, it's a problem. So that leaves us in a little bit of a situation. The bright side is we're already at the bottom of Spain and I did look last night. In Morocco, you don't need to have an IDP. You can use a normal driver's license from your country as long as it has English, which we speak English. I think it's super important to just like be really honest with you guys and like the transition back to van life has been wonderful, yes, but we've been on edge because we've been broken into and then you hear of people getting broken into a lot and just like relearning how to find camping spots that are safe every day and moving all the time and like it does add up. With all options exhausted, we made the decision to continue on and cross our fingers for some better luck. Happy to report we made it safely to Tarifa.
morning everybody and welcome to Tarifa, a place we have dreamed of coming for a long, long time because of the amazing winds and aiming gets to kiteboard, but uh, instead of amazing winds, we have amazing rain. Tossed in like a castaway, but we wanted not what we thought we wanted. As you can see, we've been camping out with about a hundred other campers, so many great people and so many great dogs <laughs> that we will love to introduce you guys all to in a little bit. But because of the inclement weather today, Eamon and I have decided to make it like a chore catch-up day when we're on the road, doing adventures, and then spending three or four days driving. The laundry piles up, the groceries deplete, so we're gonna head into the town of Tarifa today and get a whole whack of stuff done. Oh, I'm gonna need a hand here. We spotted a laundry machine little block with a grocery store and all these amenities. You can super tell that Tarifa caters to tourists that are in camper vans. Not too bad, I've Ooh. seen worse. Much to our dismay, there's always bits that didn't make it into the bag. Whoa! Do you want the tongs? Oh, thank you. Oh. Okay, so we're draining the rest of the water because we weren't so sold on the last water fill up. But this is potable water. For three euros, you can fill up the tank. It's always important to travel with a hose because that hose was broken, and now I can add my extra filter. I think for three euros, you get about 100 liters. It's not bad. Oh, she's glowing. Clean clothes. Hola, bonus. Um, lavanderia. Uh, pequeño. Uh, 14 kilos. Oh, grande. Okay. Cuánto? Seis. Muy caro, no? Perfecto. That's two loads of almost 14 kilos per load of clothes and bedding. Costs us six euros per load. Comes with the detergent and everything, and then dry, three euros per dry. So, not cheap, cheap, but. Does anybody else just want to like jump in a pile of clean laundry? Me. <laughs> There's nothing better than clean sheets and sleeping clean in your clean sheets. So I'd love to get a workout in and a shower today. You too? See ya. Okay, let's make it happen. Before we head back to get some exercise in, while we're in town, we're gonna do a little grocery shopping. A little grocery shopping for us is normally a grande grocery shop. That's true. <laughs> From downtown Mercadona. And look at this for timing. Who would have thought we'd find you guys here, huh? Really, I actually was surprised you were on the road. I thought you'd be in Portugal. Yeah, no, we just thought, you know, we want to go on an adventure. We missed yeah, the van life. Yeah. You guys brought the rain. Yeah, we did. We're from the UK, man. What do you yeah. expect? Oh. Hi, Ginge. Hi. Meow. <laughs> Uh, so you guys just loading up on some groceries and we'll meet yeah, you back at the we'll at the freeloading spot? Yeah, exactly. Actually, <laughs> I want to hug you too, yeah. but you were just a little... 
High five. High five. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right, yeah, see you guys. Now we're just kidding. We obviously knew indie projects were <laughs> here, and that wasn't planned. Um, but we're gonna put away the groceries, and then we're gonna head back there, hoping the rain will stop because we've promised each other we're going for a run. I don't mind running in the rain. Neither do I. I don't mind cold showers. Huh? Neither do I. Huh? Huh? That works out well because neither of us are bothered by this. Huh? Looking forward to it then. <laughs> huh? All right. Everybody, meet Suki, Sen, and, and Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Kite Van Man uh, and his He's got ladies. an awesome channel. You guys should check it out. We'll link it up below. Um, but first of all, we're going for a run, right? We Alex? recruited we're him. Run. Yeah, sure thing. I'm going to be faster now, more streamlined. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for the rain to stop. You guys, we didn't film much, but we'll show you a clip of what that looks like on our iPhones. <laughs> Beginning, I couldn't stop laughing. I looked down, Alex, you literally had like a platform of mud on your little. I could feel it. It was like, yeah. like five kilos. No, me too. Let's go, boys. Over. You got all the good drive. <laughs> there we go. Good form. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking, this, ah, this is just for the vlog. There's no way they do this. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> well, what happens next? You guys are soaking wet. <laughs> Usually, it the heat on. Step yeah, on. the good thing the heat is super dry heat, so it does dry everything out nicely, yep. including our skin. Yep. But yep. Uh, we were thinking about doing a shower, and now we're extending that. I'm not like totally sweaty. And you? Yeah, not totally sweaty, just really, really wet. But I have to say, I feel a million times better. Yesterday was also raining all day, and I just like didn't move my body, and we've been in a good routine of it, and you feel it when you don't. So get out, move your body, you're gonna feel good. It's all about feeling good, I guess. <laughs> okay, mm. I'm gonna undress now, so. <laughs> Hello. Hola. How you doing? You guys wanna come for dinner? Yeah, damn right. Thank you. Damn right. <laughs> Vegan goodness. Let's kick it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you finally. Nice yeah, to nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here's the spread guys. We're doing our fam famous uh, lentil walnut mix with some cashew cream salsa. And then a little bit of avocado and tomato. Looks good. Get after it. Muchas gracias por la comida. Oh, por nada. <laughs> You're obsessed with smells. You I know, to... you stink and we live in 60 square feet, but... <sighs> it's just a broken record with this chick. <laughs> so stop it. Go get your intestines checked. Uh, go get your insensitive nose checked. Love you, buddy. Anyway, I love you too. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the epi. And uh, put your seatbelt on because the apps are just going to get a little bit more interesting from this point on. See you next Sunday. Sunday. Two sweetest Dutch girls came up with one of our, I'm gonna cry, it was the cutest thing ever. One Rivas canister and one original canister of our tie and a marker. They didn't even know how to ask for a signature and I've never signed anything in my life. I just wrote back, hello! hello. <laughs>